So in long COVID, there are some important factors which might explain why you are having problems with concentration, thinking, learning and memory, or related suffering. Many people with long COVID refer to these cognitive problems as a brain fog. Now, one really common experience in long COVID, as you may very well appreciate, is feeling extreme fatigue. Now, if you were going through this, you'll know fine well that there's the physical component and perhaps that might be a relatively constant exhaustion of the body, something that's very different to tiredness, almost like wearing a lead suit. And there's also the mental component of fatigue as well. Now within this brain fog, you might notice a lack of motivation, perhaps a hazy lack of clarity in your thoughts, feeling like you're not very present, switched on, alert or aware. And as you'll know, this can fluctuate. So on worse days, when fatigue is more present and obvious to you, and on better days, when it shows up a little bit less for you, and cognitively things might work a little bit better for you. And one factor which can make fatigue a whole lot harder to manage is sleep deprivation. Now, as you'll appreciate, sleep is extremely important for our brain and mind functioning. If we're sleep deprived, we might notice that it's harder to think, solve problems and bring things to mind. And our thinking speed might be slowed down and we might even find ourselves making poorer decisions at times, particularly if we've had days and days without good enough sleep, which of course can also have a major knock on effect on our mood too. Now, of course, all this is linked to the many different unwanted bodily sensations and the extremely unpleasant and debilitating physical symptoms in long COVID. And if your symptoms involve pain, for example, you'll know all about this. When a nagging pain is present, you might notice disrupted sleep, perhaps, difficulty concentrating, and generally, you might find it harder to think clearly and function in your daily routines. If we're in pain, we can find it really hard to attend and engage in our daily lives and to cognitively solve problems. Now, if we're going through unpleasant and intrusive health, sim health symptoms, this will always have an impact on our mood. And you know fine well that what you've been through has been a great deal at the hands of COVID and now of course very regrettably with long COVID. So it's really quite common and extremely normal to feel very anxious, low in mood, depressed, frustrated, angry, or something else entirely. And it's okay to feel this way about what you're going through. And this mental suffering can very much get in the way of us being able to think flexibly and clearly to overcome the daily challenges that life brings. Difficult feelings can often get in the way of us doing things that matter to us, things that are helpful in our lives. So the distress you feel might be a really important factor in the cognitive problems that you are going through in long COVID. You might notice a fear or anxiety around in your body that might turn up a lot as a response to the threat of COVID or from the daily threat of trying to live with the long COVID symptoms. Fear might be present around the nagging question of how long you will need to endure long COVID before you recover. And you might notice your mind might have lots of different opinions on this question and that those opinions might change depending on which feelings are around. You might also notice that there's a sadness, depression or hopelessness, and that's often showing up around recent losses that you've had to navigate, or perhaps from the continuing daily losses at the hands of long COVID. Frustration or anger might also be around in response to the huge injustice of your situation. Now, if you are having difficult feelings like these, you might notice yourself trapped in a cycle of wasting precious mental energy, trying to push them away or fight them. As these feelings are a painful but natural way for your mind to cope 
with the suffering brought about by long COVID. Any struggle with these difficult feelings might be distracting you from what matters and making it harder to concentrate with less energy and motivation to address one small problem at a time. Now a very shared experience in the pandemic has been varying levels of isolation from loved ones, those people that matter to us most. We're social animals who traditionally live in groups, so this has been a major shock for many of us. Often face-to-face -face contact in quality relationships can bring great value and meaning to our lives. And as you well know, long COVID can be incredibly intrusive and hugely disruptive. You might have noticed yourself coping with the condition by saying no to time with others, withdrawing until you feel recovered. And of course, this coping strategy has its pros and its cons in relation to what you value and to what matters to you. The effects of any isolation, including the lack of stimulation, may be a factor in the cognitive difficulties that you are going through. Another factor in long COVID that we perhaps know less about so far relates to any biological changes to the brain. Certainly, COVID can involve neurological symptoms, such as a loss of smell or taste without congestion, but currently less is known about what happens in the brain to lead to a persistent brain fog. Most people experiencing long COVID will not have had a diagnosed brain injury when they were originally unwell with COVID. So pulling things together at this point, just to thank you for taking the time to listen and explore some of the factors that might all be adding up and contributing to explain why you are having problems with thinking, concentrating, learning or memory or something else within long COVID. And really at this point, the invitation as you go forward with your recovery is to be as kind to yourself as possible. And I know that that can be a really hard thing to do and that's okay. Knowing that in those moments where a cognitive error happens of some sort, whether it be forgetting to do something, not being able to find the right word or having difficulty concentrating, that that's not you who's caused that. That hasn't been your choice. It's the condition. It's the very genuine and recognised long COVID condition. And in this, the cognitive problems are absolutely not your fault. It's the long COVID doing all this and not you. So really, as best you can, being as kind, as caring and as compassionate to yourself. Perhaps drawing on the help from those around you to make room for the problems you are going through as best you can, rather than wasting any valuable energy struggling or trying to deny them. Perhaps making the wisest choices that you can possibly make as to how you deal with the condition and the cognitive problems to allow you to do what's most important, to reconnect and to do the things in your life that matter most to you with those you care about. Even if it means doing things creatively and starting really, really small to try to do things very differently, to try to make it work. Now you might find more helpful information on your recovery on the site yourcovidrecovery.nhs.uk. And once again, thank you very, very much for your time. Take care now.